Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 9 of Direwolf20's Let's Play Create Above and Beyond series, where today I'm making blocks of Tinker's Bronze. Dun 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 dun! Uh, the plan for today is to make a Tinker's Anvil, which I'm very much excited about. Uh, mostly because it means that uh, we're going to be able to get some pretty nice stuff. Uh, let's see, we want some of this. And some of this. Uh, some nice tools, some nice mining options, some nice weapons. Uh, so so amping up my ability to defend myself and go mining is going to be big for me. Because um, I do it all off camera, so like you guys may not mine as much. You might be like, oh, Dyer, just go mine with your cobblestone pickaxe. But me... You know, I've got, I've got, I've got to go mining for half an hour. So <laughs> I would much prefer to have a hammer uh, than than not. Advanced tool making quest complete, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't know if there's any quests around this whole setup, but I mean, you know, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, it's not anything, you know, create related, so it's all good. Yeah, brass machinery. Uh, I guess comes after chapter two. Cool. Oh man, so much, so much cool stuff to do. Uh, so much cool stuff to do. We're gonna have to, you know, one step at a time at all. So I'm just gonna store some of my miscellaneous tinkery stuff here, right? So this is where we can get into making hammers. This is where we can get into all kinds of good stuff. Now here's my question. Does Tinkers have uh, a book still? A book. Uh, it's got the materials and you book, which I think will be important to have. Smelting and casting guide for beginners. Mighty smelting. Um, Tinker's gadgetry and fantastic foundry. Book about the hottest new technology in molten metals. Cool. And then encyclopedia of tinkering. The reference book every tinker needs. Oh, so that's all of them combined. Sweet. So materials and you will just be a book. Um, and, uh, the, the thing. And I want materials and you so I can look because I know... Tinkers pre-116 pretty well in my head, right? Like, Cobalt's the fastest, Manulin's the best for weapons, yada, yada, yada. Not so much the newer versions of, 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 of this mod. So, uh, you know, maybe it would be a good idea to, you know, Tinkers book it up. I think. I think. Uh, now, you should have one of these, which means I can now combine you and you, and that should be cool. Nice. Oh, you, you, you access the chest adjacent. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Um, so now I've got materials in you, which will be nice. Uh, tier 1 materials, tools, modifiers for the reading. All right, so this only has access to tier 1 materials. And tier 1 tools. Okay. So we should probably get another book with grout. And then... Let's see. So if we want the encyclopedia, we should get puny smelting. No! Where did you come from? It's the middle of the day, chief. Literally the middle of the day. Literally noon. Creepers ain't supposed to exist at this time. Bad creeper. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so uh, you're still formed, right? Good. That was that was close. I was. If this thing had been destroyed, Dyer would have raged. Um. So anyway, what was I saying? Something about more books. Yeah, we're gonna want more books. Uh. So let's make sure that we can make more books. Uh. Can books be made with the with the? Oh, they can be made with canvas. So that's cool. That's actually very cool. We just need to grind up some string or whatever that was. The the rice stuff. I think we've got some rice laying around here. Actually, we have lots of straw. So let's get some canvas. Right? That's a good time. And uh, we're going to use paper, which we can make with uh, tree bark for Farmer's Delight. Well, that's cool. Cutting board can do that. Can I just right click with an axe on a tree and that'll get me tree bark too? Or... If yes, cool. If uh, Yes, but it doesn't actually give me the bark. It's a little annoying. I was hoping it would give me the bark. Alas, no such luck. Life goes on. Can you turn into... Thank you. 
All right, so uh, excluding that, then we need sugarcane, which I think I've found out and about in my journeys, but I haven't set up a uh, any kind of, of farm for that yet. Um, I should just go plant some over by this this river over here. And I should probably just turn you off at this point. Are you making a big old mess, or, or what's the deal? Oh, you're actually pretty full on kelp. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call you done. And when we need more kelp, I'll just turn it back on. Is that a fair deal? I think that works. Cool. Okay, and then you can go like this. Okay. Does this work for a little sugarcane farm? I'm just going to do like the startings of one, and then I'll use these three sugarcane that I've currently got to make my next book for Mighty Smelting. Um, now, a piece of grout would be nice. Are you done, by the way? You finished processing all the things, right? Cool. So how about just one clay, sand, and gravel? Shouldn't be too much to ask for, right? Actually. And then a gravel. I could probably consolidate those quests. And then, uh, our chests. And then we're going to want a piece of clay so that you can be grout. So that we can make our book. So then you guys do that, and then you do this, and that should be cool. And you can probably just turn into a thing. And uh, hey, puny smelting, nice. And this will be uh, the melter, moving fluids, casting, tier two materials, upgrades, and spotless modifier. Now what's mighty smelting gonna look like? Uh, that needs seared stone, actually. Yeah, how about we turn you off, and then we can just pour you over a book, and that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Now here's a question. If I have Appetite and Nitor, and we wanted to make it sand I need with that, can you grow sugarcane? Just curious. I actually don't know if this stuff can grow sugarcane or not. We're going to find out, though, aren't we? And if it can't, then we're just going to have to wait a minute which I can live with. Aw, it was worth a try. You never know if it's gonna work or not. Speaking of Phytogrow, uh, I can do this and go throw it in my Arboreal Extractors. How are my Arboreal Extractors doing? How'd you guys make out over here? Wow, look at all the cured rubber, that's so cool. Everything from last episode is running beautifully. Uh, nothing back stuff, nothing problematic. We have a little bit of resin in here, and once we get enough, it'll make another piece of rubber. I'm very, very pleased with this little setup that I made. Super cool. All right, let's come back in a minute once I get a little bit more sugar cane and probably sleep through the night. Uh, and then we will uh, make another book, and that'll be good, right? Because there's really no other way to make books besides sugar cane, right? I mean, there's this tree bark stuff, but I, I meh. Mean, yeah, I'll pass. All right, mighty smelting. Excellent. Lever back on. Excellent. Cool. So now we've got mighty smelting, which will have the smeltery and entity melting and tier three materials and broad tools and abilities. Cool. All right, let's start. I'm going to start flipping through this book off camera, figure out what I can currently make, like tier two material wise, and then figure it out from there, right? Because um, I'd like something super good, uh, if I can. So Tinker's Bronze, which I clearly have access to, has a mining speed of 7, uh, which is, you know, better than, let's see, iron has a mining speed of 6. So it's a little faster than iron, um, a little faster than copper still. I'm mostly looking at mining speed here because I'm most interested in, like, the fastest mining we can get uh, at our current level, right? Now, there's obviously some upgrades we can throw on these things. We'll talk about all that in a minute. Uh, what else do we have here besides Tinker's Bronze? Uh, mining speed 10 is Rose Gold. Rose Gold has a mining speed of 10. And that is... Requires mixing gold and copper in one of these dudes. But it has to be the melted version of it. So we have to do that with Create. There's no alloying of it. 
Okay, good to know. It's a mining speed of 10. Not bad. Cobalt's a 7.5. Rose gold's fast. What's the downside to rose gold, though? Uh, low attack. Pretty low durability, I'm going to say, as well. It's only 175 durability versus the 720 that Tinker's Bronze is. Okay. Okay. Hey, now, here's a cool thing. In addition to the Sledgehammer, which is a 3x3 AoE mining, there's also the Vein Hammer, which is a Vein Miner. That's kind of cool. I, that's new. Isn't that new? I, I haven't seen that before in Tinker's. So that's nifty. I like that a lot. So I think what I'm going to start with, um, unless I'm, I'm missing something obvious, right, um, is probably going to go with Tinker's Bronze would be the way to go for this deal. Um, and then what I'd like to do is make a decent amount of stuff out of it, right? Now, what about attack speed? Uh, attack damage is 2.5 to, to, so Tinker's Bronze is a pretty moderately not great attack speed or attack damage, right? Uh, is there anything I can make right now that has better? We'll have to see. Let's see here. Tier 2 materials. So it's pretty on par with iron in terms of attack damage. Um, seared stone actually has slightly better attack damage. That's funny. Uh, anything else? Lead has a decent-ish 2.5 attack damage. Not great on durability, though. And Scorched Stone also okay. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I should flip through the upgrades and decide what I want to get to. Alright, so here's what I've decided. I think I want to try this White Stone ability. Stone Shield. What that says is it will... Mind Stone protects the tool from future damage. So I don't know if that means Mining Stone doesn't cause durability use. Or if it means that it... Slightly repairs a little bit. I guess we'll find out. But then the rest of it's going to be made, the, the handle and the heads are going to be made with um, Tinker's Bronze. And that's what I'm going to use for mining. So I'm going to get a bunch of copper, and I'm going to get a bunch of sand, and we'll kind of go from there. So what we're going to want to do is get some plates and the hammerhead. Basically, we want the hammer, right? Uh, so we're going to want the hammer head, and we're also going to want a pickaxe for it. Uh, and we'll probably want a tool handle and maybe a tough handle as well. So let's review real quick. Where's my tier 3? And I might want to try out the vein miner one, but I don't know. Like, maybe. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. Deal? Um, not tier 3 materials, but broad tools, right? So the uh, sledgehammer is going to be one hammer head with two large plates, as usual. Um, and that one requires the tough handle, right? Uh, and we might want a broad axe would be cool too. I would very much like a broad axe. So that's just going to be an, a broad axe head and a pickaxe head. Cool. Cool. Let's make sure to get that. Right? So that'll be... Because then I can cut down trees in one fell swoop, and that would make for a very happy dyer. So let's start with a pickaxe, right? So if we want to make a pickaxe... Uh, we're going to need these three things. So we're going to want a tool handle. Um, don't we need... You know what I need is a... I need I need some... some. First off, let's get some stuff, right? So I'm going to do a very similar amount of materials that I did last time. And then we want... You know what I want is some sand. Because sand can make a blank cast, and that'll be cool. Now, how do, how do these things work again? It was in here real quick. I was flipping through. Casting. Uh, first, craft a blank sand cast and use the interact button to put it into a casting table. Craft a tool part in the part build and use it on the blank sand cast. Then use it again to remove the part. You can then pour molten metal into it. Okay, cool. So then what we're going to do is put this in here. And let's say that we want one of these, right? So I think I can make a wooden version of that. Boop that into there, pull it out, and then we should be good to go to make this dude. And that's going to use up the cast. Cool. Uh, now let's get one of these, a uh, tool binding, and let's get our pickaxe head. Okay. So then you're also going to be this.
And you're also going to be the pickaxe head. Cool. So then we should be able to make this dude. Boom, boom, and boom. And there's my bronze pickaxe. I like it. Very nice. Uh, now, I wouldn't mind those chests from Tinker's. Uh, the, the part chest and the Tinker's chest. I think the part chest is probably what I'm going to want. Um, so maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a crafting table over here, but there's one right here, so I think we should be fine. So the part chest is just going to require one of these. And having this part chest will make... Basically, I'm saving myself gold at the moment, right? Um, that's the gist. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, and then I'm going to remove you for the moment. Because as much as I like you sitting there, I don't think I super need you to sit right here. I'm going to have you sit right here. With those extra bits. Nice. Um, and then we can access the part chest and put the parts that we don't need in it. See? So they chill in there. And then future parts will be good. So let's make the hammerhead and the plates. Uh, plates are going to need a lot more wood. Sweet. Uh, and then we also want the broad axe head, right? That's going to be a big deal. So let's get that going. So refresh my memory. Is it two, two plates? I think it's two plates. I just want to double check that that hasn't changed because we've definitely gotten different items going on here. Uh, yeah, two plates for the sledgehammer. Cool. All right. So let's get a bunch more of these. Okay. So you're going to give me two plates, which should be good. Now, how are you for... We're still okay, but we're going to definitely need more of that stuff. I'm just kind of winging it. I didn't sit down and math out all the exact amounts, but we'll figure it out. And let me get a little bit of zinc. Now, is there a tough tool binding still? No, it's just the handle. Okay. Okay. So with that, I think we'll stick with... What's my modifier on my handle for white stone versus... Tinker's bronze will just be maintained handle with 1.1x mining speed. And white stone is also 1.1x mining speed. I'm going to try that stone shield thing. Um, so for a tough handle, we need three ingots worth. I'm going to get three ingots worth of zinc. Do we have zinc in here? We do have crushed zinc ore. I don't know if I've ever processed it. So I'm going to throw you in here. Zinc is how you get the white stone that I wanted to try out. Uh, it's either tin, aluminum, or zinc. And zinc, I think, is the only thing in this pack. Oh, hey, Zinc Dust. I must have been processing Zinc. I guess I was, and I never, you know, did the thing over here. At some point I had Zinc in there, because there's no way that processed a stack of dust already. I knew I had done something like that. Now hopefully you don't mix it up. And you're going to be my tough handle, right? So where's my tough handle? Did I make a tough handle? I may not have made a tough handle. Okay, so you're going to be zinc, three ingots. Err. Uh, Err. Uh, white stone tool binding. White stone tool handle. Molten zinc. Stone tool handle. White stone. Oh, I have to make a stone tool handle. Oh, okay. Let me sleep through this night real quick. My bad on that one. I guess it makes sense, right? Because it's white stone. I was like, why is it called white stone? It's not just called zinc? Explain. Now I understand. Now I understand. So we want stone tough handle. And that'll make white stone. And that should be cool. And if I don't like the white stone handle, then I can just swap it out, right? Because I can exchange things. So now I want my hammer. 
and my hammer head and my two bronze dudes. And that should be a nice bronze sledgehammer. That is cool. I am 100% ready for this. Sweet. All right, now how are we for, we have seven ingots in here. So we're gonna want two more ingots? I believe. And then we're going to want to get our broad ax head and our pickaxe. Cool. I hope I masked that correctly. We might have one extra ingot, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Right, because if we're looking at the Broad axe. It's a pickaxe, a broad axe head, a tool binding, and a tough handle. So we're going to need another tough handle. Okay. Um, and what I could probably do is just make them all out of... Okay, so that is... Okay, cool. So that is all my bronze. Good deal. Let's do... You. And you. Um, I don't know that it super matters which... I use here. Um, I mean, Tinker's Bronze might not be terrible. Let me do, let me just do a little bit more Tinker's Bronze. Because it wouldn't hurt, right? And then we'll just make the, the tough handle and all that stuff out of it. So give me a tough handle and give me a binding. Cool. And if we have a little bit of ingots left over, I'm not too worried. Though it might need, you know, the two. Actually, he might need three. That shouldn't be too bad. And this will be a really nice axe that can cut down trees all in one swoop. Right? Tinker's bronze. Finish it up. Sweet. All the Tinker's gadgetry. Beautiful. All right, so you're going to chill in there. Uh, you remaining parts can chill in there. And let's try out our tools, shall we? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, very yes. Oh, very, very, yes. Sorry, birds. I am here for this. Clearing out forests will be a lot, lot easier now. Hey, oh, right. Did I use the wrong one? I'm going to use the wrong one. Yeah. In my brain, I was saying to myself, you know what I should try? Is my hammer. Yeah, no, I like, I like this. I very much like this. Let's go down into the depths and try out our hammer now. Uh, now, where's Cinna Cinnabar Ore going to live? Um, 1 to 30 is where that's going to live. So let's try to get some Cinnabar and let's try to get some charged quartz. That's not like a plan. Um... I think that sounds like a plan. It definitely sounds like a plan to me. Uh, some more zinc dust can be smelted in here, clearly. Uh, let me clean up my inventory real quick, and we're going to go do a little bit of mining just to try this stuff out. So clearly I have a lot of junk. And clearly, you know what I can get? Is those bigger barrel things now. Yes, let's get those. Um, so I feel like what I should do... is something like this. Let's do this and two of these. I should really be using sand. I'm wasting, I'm wasting, and I know I am, and that's bad on me. Um, let me borrow one of these real quick so I can get um, gold. I want a permanent cast for you, for ingots. And then I can get some Tinker's Bronze. 
And this can be used to upgrade those those barrels that I've been talking about getting. And that would be cool. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Okay, so if I wanted that, then what we want to get is... Some barrels. And let's get six upgraded barrels. Does that sound like a good number? Because that's how many barrels I made. Alright, so barrels can be upgraded into tinkers for 48. Cobalt will store 81, so we have to go to the nether to get that. Runes will store 72. Haven't we found a few runes? And silica steel will store 54. So 72 is pretty good. Haven't we found a few runes? Or am I crazy? We have found a few runes. Sweet. Uh, and these are found in rune stone, which I guess is just randomly wherever. Cool. Or rune bags, which is just a package version of that. That's neat. Rune stone, huh? That does not indicate the Y level, though, which is a bummer. I would have liked to have known what that is. Uh, for future reference, there's really no good way to double that, so we're, you know, out of luck. Uh, I should also throw, like, luck and some things on my pickaxe. We'll deal with that in a minute. Um, if we looked at... Where's luck considered? Abilities... Luck. So the first tier of luck... Luckier, luckiest. So the first tier of luck you can put luck on legs. It's interesting. But the first tier of luck on a pickaxe is gonna be a cornflower, two copper, and two lapis blocks. I wouldn't mind Do we have lapis enough for that yet? We do have lapis enough for that yet. Do we have cornflowers? I don't know if we run into cornflowers just yet. We're gonna have to figure out where cornflowers live. I know, I'm all over the map. Um, let me get three of these barrels and then three of the other barrels. So I can do this and this and then this. That works for me. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is start. There are upgrades if you want to upgrade barrels in place, but I assume that I can't upgrade a chest in place, which would be super cool. Um, so let me clean this up real quick. What I'm going to want to do is have a regular old axe do this, and then we're going to put probably the bronze barrel for you. And that works. That works. Okay. Um, miscellaneous junk we're absolutely going to want to have um, be the larger barrel. I really need a magnet too. Is there a magnet in this pack? That's better, for sure. Uh, I think my Tinker's chest, or my Create chest, because that's what this is, should also be larger. Because obviously Create's gonna be a big part of this pack. We should have as much Create storage as possible. That sounds cool. Um, because my blocks are mostly up here, I'm gonna make my crops be a larger chest with the runestone guys. Does that work? Cool. Yeah, I like that. All right, and we don't want chests in any of these, and I probably wound up putting chests in all of these because of the way I broke chests and then just dumped everything that fell. Cool, all right, and then you guys Can be that. 
And then we're going to want one more barrel, right? So let's get one more barrel. And we'll upgrade him to Tinker's tier. And that'll be for these two chests. Okay. Works for me. Is that really all the ingots I have? Wow, that's embarrassing. Oh no, we've got a couple more here. Okay, that's better. I was gonna say... I was gonna say, but now we can at least store more of our junk, and that's kind of cool. Perfect. Okay. I just realized that half of these are placed one way, and the other half are placed the other way, and that is gonna annoy everyone, isn't it? Isn't it? All right, fixing. I'll fix the rest of that off camera in a minute. Um, sweet. So this is going to be my create barrel. Let's get another barrel. And this is going to be my tinkers barrel. And that's where I'm going to put all my tinkers stuff. That I don't necessarily need at the moment. You know what? Maybe the tinkers will, will live outside in this chest. Yep, I hear you, bird. And I see that it's nighttime. All right, so your miscellaneous junk. I'm liking this. This is better. This is not bad. I like to have a stack of that on me at all times. All right, this is feeling better. I like this a lot, actually. I'm going to call this a create item because I've been using it for create, even though it's not a create item, right? Like, I know that that's not create, but I'm going to call it one. Excess food. Looking good all around. Sweet. And I do need to look into that backpack deal. For sure. For sure I should look into having a backpack. But the rest of this looks all pretty good, right? Alright, let's go check out mining. Um, so how much redstone do I need to put on this thing to make it mine a little bit faster? That would be a good question to answer, right? Alright, so let's upgrade this hammer first and foremost. Because even though he has decent mining speed, um, you know, we could do better. We could do better. So I think if I just put a redstone block on there, it's going to be haste 9 out of 45. So that's going to increase it a little bit. We're going to need a decent amount of redstone if we really want to get decent amounts of haste. Stone shield 1, 0 out of 400. Mine stone protects the tool from future damage. That's kind of neat. Because the other thing that's nice about this, the reason I chose to go with the stone shield, is maintain does tool mines faster when at higher durability. So that's kind of cool. We have two upgrades and one ability on this guy. Uh, we can do a few things to add upgrades and abilities to it. Um, so let's hold off for... Well, I kind of want to put that redstone on there, but also let's hold off a little bit. All right, and then we'll put away our books. Let's go mining for a sec and see how these tools work out. And then we'll go from there. Cool. And I really need a backpack. That's going to have to be like one of the top things that we do after this but i'm gonna mine down in my deep y levels like around 10 ish because um i want charge certus so we can go find a meteorite and i want cinnabar for more redstone for my mining tool and i probably wouldn't mind a few other things like lapis and whatnot so let's give this guy a shot you know what that is not bad that is cool stone shield four out of 400 that is not bad at all I like this. I like this a lot. I like this pick. I like everything about everything. Now, I don't have luck on my stuff just yet, but we'll get there. We're going to have to find a way to void all this cobble we're getting, though. Like, some kind of void pickup stuff. And I wouldn't mind some kind of magnet -y thing, either. Would be nice. And apparently luck, does luck work on, I think luck works on these stones, doesn't it? Isn't that what the quest thing said about metallurgy? Fortune, one becomes one to two. So if we have fortune on our tools, it'll help for both 
ingots and not ingots. So I should put fortune on my hammer, right? That would be the smart way to go. I think that would be the smart way to go. Because that would increase the yield of all my mining. So fortune is useful for all the things. So we should 100% get fortune. Does it tell me... Hmm. That's cool. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, I did with that. But where is that? Um, there is a modifiers chapter, right? Exchanging fire starter. Gilded glowing. Luck needs copper and that. Either a blue orchid or a cornflower. And lapis. Luckier is going to need some ender pearls. Right? Uh, and other than that, pretty easy. And then luckiest is going to require a rabbit's foot, rose gold, diamond, and a name tag, which doesn't look craftable in this pack. So probably something we're going to have to find out and about in the world. All right. So that seems like a good wrapping up point for the episode. What do you guys think? I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, we'll come back next time. The one thing I'm going to have to deal with is going to be cobblestone, because we're going to get a lot of that stuff. Um, so any kind of voidy type thing i don't know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure out what we can get to make cobble not exist anymore because that's going to be real annoying real quick having something to clean that up would be nice and what about a magnet did we ever determine if there's a magnet in this pack uh there is the fluxo magnet which we can probably make yeah that looks makeable right now uh tracks items using redstone flux it does require energy, though, and that's probably going to be a problem for me. I can't charge it. I can make it, but I can't charge it. Um, the grappling hook upgrade, on the other hand, does sound cool. Magnetic modifier from Tinker's. No, oh, that's cool. So Tinker's does have that. Uh, we could put magnet into things. Uh, I could put it on my armor. Or, yeah, that's cool. I like it. Because I wouldn't want to use up a modifier on a tool. Unless that's one of the ones that doesn't use up a modifier. Max 5. Modifier requires one upgrade slot to apply. Okay. Yeah, some of them require ability slots. Some of them do not require anything. No modifier slots are required to apply. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Well, for 2 and 3. Luck requires a modifier. But then to upgrade it does not require any upgrade slots. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a few things that don't require slots at all. And that's kind of neat. One defense slot. See, like Draconic, for example, doesn't require a modifier slot. That's cool. And so same for Harmonious, whatever that does. Okay. All right, I really got to wrap up the episode here. Did we burn through this already? No, 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 no. Okay, that was just my, uh, my stone shield. It was indicating to me how much stone shield we had. That's cool. Nice. Stone shield, too. So that'll just help with durability a bit. And boy, am I never going to run out of cobble again, I'll tell you that much. All right, we got to wrap up the episode, though. So for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Now that we have a bunch of uh, better you know, tools. I can use these better tools to my advantage. And I'm excited because it means I can mine a lot more efficiently. All right, guys, take it easy.